What's up everyone? In this Scratch tutorial, we're going to create a maze game with levels. So we need a player and we need a maze map and we need the background. So you can make whatever player you want. I'm choosing the cat as the player. Now we need the maze. Now create a new sprite. Now for this, I'll just make big in the line tool. I'll just create a simple map like Like this. Now I'll just put it in the center. And yeah. Now let's make the cat smaller by making the size to say 60. And yeah, it does work. How about 50? Now, start off by grabbing the when green flag clip. Now go to variables, now create a new variable, call this player lives and keep this for all, uh, for this sprite only. Now click OK. Now set player lives to 3. Now uh, forever if then the control uh, go to sensing uh, key up arrow is pressed then we want it to change y by 4 now duplicate it and change it to down arrow key pressed and change this to negative 4. Now duplicate it again and key right arrow uh, is pressed and then replace the change y by change x by uh, let's say 4. Now duplicate it and make it left Add or keep pressed and make it minus four. Now let's make the cat go right here and go to wherever your player is. Great. Now hide the player lives. Now, as you can see, it does work. Nice and simple. Oh, and I also have to edit. Make this short. Like. Yep. Uh, okay. So go to your player and and uh, we need a uh, I grab a one green flag clicked uh, from events this and go to control then grab a forever loop if then go to sensing uh, touching sprite 2 which is the map then we'll just do a stop on for now now we need a portal so 
create a new sprite and I'll just make a port like and make sure to center it place it a bit big I'll just this and and put it right here now when green flag clicked go to wherever it is and forever if then touching the player then broadcast next level now when I receive next level uh, we need it to be placed with where it is we need to respawn so just put it uh, wherever it is and yeah now for the sprite 2 we need to grab a one green flag clicked and uh, switch costume to one at the beginning and when I receive next level uh, next cost now let's make another level uh, for this I'll just make a simple one like uh, like this and go to the portal and uh, actually go to the map and go to variables and make a new variable called this level now switch costume set level to one and also name this one and also name this two so switch costume to one and when I receive next level change level by one so go to the portal and grab a one green flag clicked and go to control grab a forever loop if then operators go to variables level is equal to two and then if it is in two we need to make it here you can make whatever you want so go to the portal and go to whatever it is now let's try it hide the level or I'll show you now uh, let's try it again and when it touch the portal it switch costume to two 
Hmm. But wait. Oh, I forgot. In the map, we need to switch costume to level. So let's try it again. Oh, also make the what? Uh, here. Let's try it again. And when I touch the portal, you see it does work. Now the portal change the position and the map change. So let's also create a new map. Next level. Just for fun. And uh, I'll just make this uh, let's make it Just make it here and make this here and also duplicate it in the portal and make it level 3 and uh, make it wherever it is like This. So mine uh, would be here. Like here. So yeah. Uh, let's try it. This. Hmm, but why is it here? It should be like. Oh yeah, I forgot. Duplicate it and make it level one, and put it right here, and make it go wherever it is. Now, for my map, it is. Bit small, so I'll just make it small. This and let's press the green flag and let's see it. So changes and yeah so yeah that's it for this tutorial it actually works so i hope you learned the uh, new in today's tutorial and i'll see you in the next tutorial bye bye